and welcome to a new video. As you can see behind me, it's almost Chinese New Year. You might think of fireworks and traveling to see family when you think of Chinese New Year or Spring Festival, but there is actually a lot more to it than that. So today I am here in a supermarket and in today's video I am going to talk about how Chinese people prepare for Chinese New Year and how they celebrate Spring Festival. A week before actual Chinese New Year is when Xiao Nian starts, like the little New Year. And that is the time where you are getting ready for the New Year. One of the things that everybody does is cleaning their house. You will clean the house to wipe away the dust um, and get rid of the old things and welcome the New Year. After people have done the cleaning, it's time to go shopping. When people shop, they usually go shop for clothes, um, food for the New Year's Eve dinner, and of course, decorations to welcome the New Year. Just before Chinese New Year, people will go out and shop. They will shop for all kinds of decorations to welcome the New Year and to welcome the good spirits and leave the old year behind. And they will shop for gifts that they will take with them as they visit their relatives. And of course, everything is packed in bread because bread needs to luck. And we should not forget to mention the Obao, the red envelope. These are being filled with money and usually given to the younger children, the younger members of the family. These days, though, we don't always use these hongbaos, but often people send the hongbaos on WeChat on their phones. As you might know, during Chinese New Year, people travel home to see their family members and they always bring gifts. And one of the kinds of gifts they might bring home is a fish. There definitely will be a fish on the dining table for the big New Year's Eve meal because the fish represents surplus and abundance. So this is really good fortune. So if you're bringing a fish as a gift, you're bringing good luck. I know one of my visiting family members brings me one of these. One point six meters long, almost as tall as Miguel. <laughs> we just got back from shopping, and I have gotten some couplets that I'm going to put on my door, and a cute little tiger that welcomes the Chinese New Year. Because this year is the year of the tiger. It says, "新年快乐." Uh, no, this one does not say "新年快乐." This one says "新年快乐." So let's go put them on the outside of our door. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we tape. <laughs> Wing. They're not self adhesive, but we'll go here. But we need some tape to put them on. So people put these on their doors to welcome the new year. They're in red because Nian, um, who caused a lot of trouble <laughs> and uh, destroyed destroyed all kinds of towns when he came so People find out that he is afraid of very loud noises and the color red. So these couplets are not only welcoming the new year, they are also keeping away Yeah, Tiger is also going on the door. Where do you want it? Here? Let the new year begin. <laughs> now that we have our house cleaned and decorations up, it's time for a family to arrive. If you don't know anything about Chinese New Year, you can kind of compare it to Christmas in the West. Family members will travel to their hometowns, bring gifts and share a big dinner on New Year's Eve. Most people will travel by train because it is still the easiest and cheapest way to get home. But easiest is a bit of a stretch. Traveling during Chinese New Year is always an adventure. I remember the first year I was in China and didn't know much about Chinese New Year yet. I thought it would be a great opportunity to travel around China. I quickly found out just how crazy this mad dash home can be for Chinese people. It starts about a month in advance, 
when train tickets go on sale and almost immediately sell out. Luckily, China's train network has been upgraded since 2011, but it can still be an ordeal for people to get home. Getting your ticket, getting through the train station and finding your seat and traveling hours or even days to get home is a lot of work, but almost always worth it. Because for many people, this is the only time they will return home each year. Based on their time off, most people will arrive one or two days before New Year's Eve and immediately start preparing for the big dinner. The most important part of the festival is the dinner. If you know anything about China, it is probably that Chinese people love to eat. Like I said earlier, many of the dishes are served based on their meaning. Dishes that have similar sounds to luck, money, fortune, abundance or wealth will be eaten to guarantee a prosperous new year. Near the end of the dinner, many of the older people will turn their attention to the TV. Because each year CCTV holds a gala. This is a major TV production that has celebrities and singers all wishing a happy new year. Many older people still watch the CCTV gala, but it has lost a lot of popularity with the younger crowd. As the gala comes to an end, it is midnight and most people will make their way outside to light some fireworks. This is always fun, but many cities have banned fireworks because of the risks. But that doesn't stop everyone and many people still scare away Nian with fireworks. The next morning after the New Year's Eve celebration, people will visit extended family and friends to share hongbaos and good wishes. Also, many people will wear new clothes on the first day of the new year, like socks for example. Most people only have seven days off from work, which doesn't give them a lot of time to celebrate. But during that week, people will often attend temple fairs or village festivities, like lion and dragon dances. Temple fairs are popular because people can eat more food, especially local favorites, and spend time with friends. People will also visit the temples to pray for the new year and ask for luck and wealth. After about a week of celebrations, many people get back on trains and head back to the cities. The entire spring festival comes to an end on the new moon or lantern festival. The lantern festival marks the final day of these celebrations. On this day, people eat tang yuan, light lanterns, solve riddles and watch lion and dragon dances. Tang yuan, also called yuan xiao in the north, are balls of glutinous rice boiled in a sweet soup. As Tang Yuan's pronunciation is similar to Tuan Yuan, which means reunion and completeness, Chinese people believe that the round shape of the balls and bowls symbolize wholeness and togetherness. The popular lucky saying when eating Tuan Yuan is Tuan Tuan Yuan Yuan, which roughly translates to happy family reunion. After the Lantern Festival, Chinese New Year taboos are no longer in effect, and most New Year decorations are taken down. This is how many people will celebrate the Chinese New Year. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning about it. And I hope you're having a Tuan Tuan Yuan Yuan. I'm wishing you all the best for the New Year of the Tiger. Thank you for watching. Bye!